Hello, today I would like to tell you something about different suction stroke profiles. In the previous video I've already told you something about discharge stroke profiles and now we come to the suction stroke profiles. And therefore, we just go in the menu, in settings, metering and here suction stroke. Yeah, we have so four different suction strokes in total, normal, high viscosity 1, high viscosity 2 and high viscosity 3. Yeah, normal is the preset suction stroke. In normal, the pump is doing 200 strokes per minute and this is recommended for all mediums with a viscosity up to 200 millipascal. When the viscosity goes up, it is important to suck slower so that your dosing head is filled completely. And then depending on the viscosity, you just select different suction strokes. If your viscosity is between 500, 200 and 500 millipascal, you just select high viscosity 1. Then the pump is doing maximum 160 strokes per minute. When the viscosity is even higher, when it's, be it's between 500 and 1000 millipascal, I recommend to use high viscos 2 and then you select high viscos 2 in addition with springs in the valve. When the viscosity is over 1000 millipascal, high viscosity 3 is recommended. When you have selected high viscosity 3 in combination with a high viscosity head, you can meter easily mediums up to 3000 millipascal. Now I let the pump pump and you can hear that the suction stroke is much slower. It's doing maximum 80 strokes per minute and this is perfect for the high viscosity, high viscosity media so you get the head filled completely. And when the viscosity goes above the 3000 millipascal, I recommend to use a peristaltic pump with an our portfolio, for example, the DFXA, a peristaltic pump with which you can go up to 500,000 millipascal. So as you see, with peristaltic pumps there are nearly no limits concerning the viscosity, but as we have everything in our portfolio, we can give you an objective choice and, and tell you which pump is the best depending on your solution. Thanks for listening.